This looks like an ordinary rock, but it's actually a meteorite from space. How can we tell? Let's take a closer look. It doesn't have a fusion crust like we see on a lot of meteorites when they burn up entering the atmosphere. That's probably because it landed on Earth a long, long time ago, and it's been sandblasted by the desert in which it was found, and it has this kind of desert patina that many other rocks might have as well. What makes this look a little bit meteoritic in some cases is not so much what it has, but what it doesn't have. It doesn't have some characteristics we would find of Earth rocks. We don't see uh, shiny quartz crystals in it. We don't see uh, concordial fractures that we might see with some types of Earth rocks. Those things would disqualify it from being a meteorite. We don't necessarily see those. One thing we do see on the outside, or at least a little evidence of it, that does point towards a meteorite is that we see some evidence of chondrules poking out from the outside of the meteorite. These are what were kind of minerals that were once liquefied out in space and then cooled down and formed part of this, what we assume at this point is a chondritic meteorite. So those are some things that speak meteorite from the outside, but it's really when we look at the inside of this thing that we see clear, definitive evidence that this is a meteorite. Looking inside this rock, we immediately see those chondrules that we saw examples of poking through on the outside of the stone. These are things we don't really see in Earth rocks. Again, these were minerals that were at one point out in space and were exposed to heat and liquefied. They formed into spheres and solidified and were eventually encased in other rocks, probably in the form of asteroids and so on, which is why they have this spherical shape within these stones. Now, those chondrules can degrade over time and kind of change their shape, lose their shape, but this one has pretty good structure. We clearly see lots of different sizes of spheres and different colors with different uh, minerals encased within them. The other thing we see, and perhaps the most striking thing here, are these little tiny flecks of shiny metal. Plenty of earth rocks have metal in them, but not like this. It's not going to be distributed like it is in this meteorite. Ordinary chondrites have anywhere from something like 3 to 20% metal in them, and you often see it at least somewhat equally distributed throughout the rock. Sometimes there will be bigger blebs here and there, but for the most part, it'll look something like this with these little flecks throughout. As always, the only definitive source that anything is a meteorite is always lab analysis, but I can say based upon my experience looking at a lot of other rocks, this is certainly an ordinary chondrite meteorite. As always, the only 100% definitive source that anything is a meteorite is the lab, but I can say with 99% certainty, this is a meteorite. It's an ordinary chondrite. It has the outside, the inside look. It has the weight, all the things that you would expect to see of such a meteorite. If you like looking at rocks and deciding whether they're meteorites or not, looking at some cool specimens from outer space, make sure to like and follow. I'll keep showing you all the neat things in my collection.